Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day in the back of the house because uh, I showed you in a couple videos ago that uh, all the expensive meat was at the grocery store. So we decided to buy a brisket and we're smoking it up. We put it up there about 11 o'clock last night. Corey's excited. Corey, excited about the meat. So uh, we're actually gonna check on it right now. So I figured I'd give you guys a sneak peek of it and then we'll get into the content of today's vlog. We're gonna take the C8 to 360 Express Collision Detail. We're gonna get some really cool stuff done to it to protect the paint. And I'm not talking about ceramic coating. All right, so we're almost there. This is the exit I usually take to go to work. And uh, it's gonna be tough to see over there with the sun and whatnot, but right there in the background, is Bachman Chevrolet. Maybe you can see the flag there, but uh, we're gonna turn right here and we're gonna head this way to 360 Express Collision in Detail. They're just down the street from the dealership here in Jefferson Town, Kentucky. Well, I'm here, but I need to turn around. I just saw something right back here that just looks so awesome. It was on that building right there. <laughs> That car looks so sweet off the glass. They had a mirrored finish and I was like, I looked over and I'm like, oh, there's my car. It looks sweet. All right, so I came here to have them look at it. If you remember my C7 when CarMax hit that, if you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll put the video series in the top right hand corner here. Uh, they have uh, what's called paint protection spray, PPF. Now everybody knows what PPF is, paint protection film. Well, I've never been a huge fan of PPF because it just shows lines and it can get dirt under the edges. And you know, if someone does half a hood, there's a line going across and just, you know, just just all that good stuff. So what I brought it over for was so he could measure everything, so he could look at everything. Um, you know, on some cars, he likes to take them, the front bumper off and spray it that way because it gets better edges and better coating and, and allows, you know, just for various things. So this car is pretty complicated um, with the grills up here, the front cameras, all that stuff. So, uh, and he was really excited to see the hood, not as long as a C7, so it makes it a little bit better. And then also to protect the lights as well. So we're gonna spray the whole front end of this car, um, everything, you know, up here, probably the front fender, uh, all of this right here. Not obviously over the cameras, but we can spray over the lights as well and all of that stuff there. So if you look at this Volvo, this is their vehicle as well. This does have the paint protection spray on it and you can't tell in any way shape or form so there's no edges there's nothing under here so uh, all that stuff but he uh when he was carrying it out uh again this is their car he bumped the edge right here and uh, obviously if this is a customer's car he would fix it and uh, but they're not going to fix it because it's their car so you can see that edge right there and literally if i would peel up on that i could just like shoop, peel it all off and there's no sticky residue, nothing like that. So it doesn't like adhere to the paint. Um, so if you do ever need to take it off that it wouldn't like harm the paint or you know peel the paint off of the hood or the bumper or wherever you put it out. And then if you were to ever bump something, um, it's really simple just to take it off and respray it again as well. Uh, say uh, they're gonna test this on their Honda back here. Uh, say somebody backs into uh, the metal door and you have that protected, you could peel that off, do a paint, paintless dent repair, uh, and then spray it again and it's all good as new and with no scratching of the paint. So that's kind of helpful too. It's kind of interesting stuff. So we'll see it on my car. So we're gonna head over to the dealership. We're gonna see if my new ground effects are here yet because they should be here today and we'll share with you on those. They're gonna spray those too. I'm gonna bring them back over here and they're gonna spray them so that way uh, those are protected from the get-go as well, because these are uh, rather expensive ground effects. All right, guys, so uh, it's been a few hours since I recorded last. I can't remember where I was at, but uh, I stopped by the dealership because uh, Complete Street Performance is getting their second Corvette. We got invoiced on it and uh, came in here to get all that paperwork done. So a lot of things have changed at the dealership here since I was here last. And uh, now we're completely closed down. We can't interact with any customers. We can't do on test drives. We can't go uh, even interact with customers for paperwork. So everything has to be done um, via UPS for out of town people, which is pretty normal for me. That's what I do every day. Uh, or secondly, um, 
the customer, uh, we can leave the paperwork in the car for the customer. And then that customer gets in the car, signs their stuff, leaves it, they get out, we come back and get it. It's a huge whole process, but uh, that's where I'm at. So we're gonna go home, I'm gonna hop the wife, and uh, we're gonna attempt some launches today, right? Never launched this car, so we're gonna do a couple launches, put it in track mode, and have some fun. And hope that we don't wreck, too. Not, wreck, not wrecking would be really, really nice. It's interesting, appears to be a fake cop. Uh, definitely a Crown Vic police interceptor. It's got three antennas on the back, a light up there, but that license plate, which is gonna be tough for you guys to see, is a normal citizen license plate. So he's got that red underneath the license plate too. So it makes it look like lights or something, I guess. I don't know, but definitely a fake cop. It's really interesting. We're gonna, we're gonna run by him. Yeah, you got the light bar on the front or the push bar. Kind of interesting. I know it's Shelby. So he took off like he wanted to play, but I think he realized that he shouldn't try. The exhaust is blowing some black smoke like you wanted to get up on it. How's the brisket coming along? It's coming. Coming? <laughs> Takes forever. It does. Well, girls, we're going to go for a ride. we to go for a ride? All right, are you ready? Yeah. No? All right, well, you got to hold the camera. So uh, we're coming up here to this really big curve. I'm going to start out by uh, just seeing if I can do like a full G, lateral G, that is. Uh, on this curve up here. Worst case scenario, if you don't hold on to it real good, I've got the uh, I've got the PDR rolling. Okay, so no pressure. There you go. All right, guys. I think we found a area here that we can uh, launch the car for the first time. I've never launched this car, it's the first time. You ready? Sure. All right, she didn't do a real good job on the uh, the lateral G, so we're gonna have to use the PDR on that. Yeah. Do you feel bad that you didn't get a good camera angle and it was wobbly and all that stuff? No. <laughs> I hate roller coasters. I can't handle <laughs> the G-force on a roller coaster, so. All right, so. This is not, this is not my forte. Maybe right. if I was actually driving, Maybe I could handle it, but no. all right, we'll see what happens All right guys, so the first thing you want to do put your brake on both paddle shifters in bounce it off rev limiter and Let go ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. ah! oh my god, are you all right? Oh my I don't god. Know. Oh my god, what happened? What just happened? No. Where's the camera? Oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. This car. Oh my god. I can't believe. Oh my gosh. Oh, I cannot believe this has happened to my brand new car. Gotcha. April Fools. April Fools. I hope you guys enjoyed our little prank. April Fools prank. Everything is completely okay with the car. There's no issues. You think we got him? I hope so. I think we got him. I think I did pretty good. You did some pretty good acting. She did some real. Wait, <laughs> that was really too good of acting. What is that? Whoa, whoa. We're practice. not going there. We're not. What? <laughs> We're not going there. We're not going there. Wow. Good job. Hey guys, don't spoil this. Don't throw in the comments that it's a joke. Let everybody watch all the way through. And uh, as you guys know, if you're new to the channel, I don't clickbait. Um, I, I really try to give true things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was such a good thing that she thought we were in trouble. So, but uh, yes, yeah, so we don't clickbait. We just try to have good, honest fun uh, on the channel. She's getting more involved with the channel. So if this is the first time you're watching the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn your bell notifications on, leave a thumbs up, 
and leave a comment down below that doesn't spoil this. No time, no, hey, this was a joke. Just, you know, like, oh my God, let's, let's get everybody going. Oh my God, I can't believe you did this. Stuff like that. Guys, thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.